Johnny Lee Cochran Jr. born in 1937 and passed away in 2005 a flamboyant high-profile lawyer and civil activist Johnny Cochran was known for his exceptional trial skills in the courtroom and his determined and courageous work as an advocate for victims of police brutality. Born in Shreveport, Louisiana, his family relocated to Los Angeles in 1949. He was first in his class at Los Angeles High School. In 1955, he went on to earn a Bachelor of Arts in Business Economics from the University of California. Los Angeles, and a Juris Doctorate from the Loyola Law School in 1962. In his book, A Lawyer's Life, Cochrane wrote, I read everything that I could find about Thurgood Marshall and confirmed that a single dedicated man could use the law to change society. So, despite setbacks and difficulties, he dedicated his career to work for what he considered to be right and to challenge what he considered wrong. Now, in 63, Cochrane took a position as a deputy city attorney in the criminal division in Los Angeles where he prosecuted one of his first celebrity cases, Lenny Bruce, a comedian who had recently been arrested on charges of obscenity. Three years later, Cochrane opened his own law firm, Cochrane, Atkins and Evans, and started to represent members of the black community against police brutality and corruption. Writing in his book, The American Lawyer, he stated, those were extremely difficult cases to win in those days. But what they confirmed for me was that this issue of police abuse really galvanized the minority community. And it taught me that these cases could really get attention. In 1978, Cochrane returned for five years to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office as its first black assistant district attorney. And he began to strengthen his ties with the political community, eventually opening the Cochrane Law Firm, which has grown to have regional offices located in 15 states. Cochrane generally represented plaintiffs in civil tort cases with great financial success. And according to Reverend Jesse Jackson, a call to Johnny Cochrane made corporations and violators shake. <laughs> Certainly his polished rhetoric and flamboyant manner in the courtroom earned him great wealth. But he often liked to say that he worked not only for the OJs, but also the no Jays, and was willing to fight for the underdog, minorities, and those wronged in civil rights cases. During closing arguments in the media frenzy OJ Simpson trial, Cochrane spoke the now infamous line, If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. As Simpson struggled to get the blood-stained glove found at the crime scene onto his large hand. Other high-profile cases that Cochrane succeeded in were that of Abner Luima, a Haitian immigrant who was sodomized with a broken broomstick while in police custody. 
Luima was awarded an $8.75 million settlement, the largest police brutality settlement in New York City. And in 2001, Cochran represented and acquitted the famous rapper and record producer, Sean P. Diddy, indicted on bribery and stolen weapons charges. Johnny Cochran died from a brain tumor on March the 29th, 2005, at his home in Los Angeles. His remains were interred in the Inglewood Park Cemetery in Inglewood, California. Johnny Cochran, one of the great civil rights activists and attorneys of the 20th century.